Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel where I'm all looking here and my hair. So today's video, I just went in with, um, I just did this springy, you know, kind of pride month kind of look. I don't know, I was just feeling super, super creative and I was just like, you know what, why not just do something, you know? Like, my spring looks and my summer looks and my fry looks, I'm trying to hold off on, but I'm just like, oh, I'm getting so creative right now. I need to do at least something. Um, I don't like my lower lashes. I should have changed it. My lower lash line, I mean, I should have changed it out, but it's okay. It's like, it's literally like, I don't know, but it is what it is. This is the last minute. So in today's look, I just used the Bright Max eyeshadow palette again from Beauty Bay. So if you want to see this look and how I came out, I'm not going to lie, like, at first, like, the my camera was not trying to pick up none of the pigment. And I'm just like, bro, this is done to piss me off. Like, dude, what the heck is going on? But it is an Android phone, so it's not going to really pick up the pigment. I think an iPhone could do better at picking up the pigment. Picking up the pigment than the Android, but it is what it is. I'm stuck with it, so I don't know because I, I do love my phone, so I don't really gotta complain. But, but yeah, guys, if you want to see how I got this look, and oh, matter of fact, my fault before I even go, I do not do my lip combo or my lashes on camera, so but yeah, if you, <laughs> now if you want to see how this look turned out, then make sure you guys go ahead and watch, make sure you guys get this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the source if you want more, and let's get started. Alright you guys, you already know what it is, jumping straight into voice over, so I'm just gonna do one eye off camera, and for today's like, I just felt like I wanted to do something more of a springy, like a spring type of situation, so I'm taking my shopping and concealer in the shade, um, natural beige, and I'm just putting that on my entire eye, so I showed you what the applicator looks like because I wanted you to I want you to see that it works just as well as the P. Louise base but the only difference is it's a thinner formula than the P. Louise base so next I'm going in with my MLTD brush and I'm just gonna go and blend it out I'm telling you guys whatever you have on deck just use it as with as much as you can because you don't need to buy all these expensive items whatever you got on deck just use it and get your money's worth so next i'm taking my my silver beauty 180 brush and i'm just gonna dab into that way shade from the believe beauty eyeshadow palette and in my next video after so in my next video after my um natural look i'm gonna use that palette because i want you to see how pigmented it is and it's not i love that palette like this is my second palette that i got from them so i want you to see how beautiful it is and how pigmented it is so next i'm going with the bright matte eyeshadow palette again like this is my favorite eyeshadow palette so i'm taking the same purpose that i said before but i just opt out two because i didn't want to use it because i know what kind of look i wanted to do so i'm just showing you the, the colors so i'm going in with that purple shade now that purple shade is hella freaking pigmented like i'm telling you guys just just look like wow like I was so happy like when I first used it in my last video how pigmented it was. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So with this kind of cut crease that I did, I already know like my craft was perfect on this. Like this like my craft was already perfect when it comes to this type of cut crease. So I already know how I wanted it. So next I'm just going in and I'm just being that out with the lighter shade of purple that I put it to. And you guys like just look at it. I hate that this camera is genuinely not doing this um i should have let or i should have let no justice so one thing i did notice as i was filming is that one of my brows was kind of thicker than the other so now i know the next time when i do like a look i need to make sure that my eyebrows are the same because my left eyebrow was looking way much better than my right eyebrow and that's coming from me like i love my right eyebrow more than i love my eye my I love my right eyebrow more than I love my left eyebrow, but my left eyebrow came out pretty freaking good, and I was like, girl, what? So, next I'm going with that hot pink shade. Now, if you've seen in my last video, I um, 
accidentally like not scraped it but like swatched it and i told you that i want to do a look with this and that's, this is the look that i told you i want to do i love this shade because it's so pigmented like but i'm telling you guys when i get my new camera y'all gonna see how much more pigmented this this shade is so next i'm taking my jewelry space and i'm gonna take that um that shade just to help define my pink a little bit and like tone it down just a smidge smidge more so excuse me so on my other eye i noticed that i used way too much red and you can see that the yellow the pink tone wasn't there so off camera i had to go back and fix that so I didn't do it here, but I did it when I did my TikTok for my lip combo. So if you seen that video, go see. It. If you haven't seen that video, go see it now. It's gonna be linked in the description box. But I'm just going in with that pink shade with my Believe Beauty brush. Now, if you are OG follower of mine, y'all know that that Believe Beauty brush was my first ever um, blending brush, which means like I was blending out my concealers with that. Like when I was doing my um doing my base, like that was the brush I was using to blend out that base so next i'm just doing my famous cut crease and you guys like my cut crease really came out perfect i ain't gonna lie like it wasn't too small it wasn't too big don't think it's like like the dollar i kind of messed up on the line in a little bit but you guys it was so worth it like not worth it but you know i, I was able to fix it let's just say that so next to so, um mattify that Cookies. I'm take I'm first going in with the orange shade and I'm telling you guys this camera is not doing it justice because in real life that shade was so pigmented a little patchy but super 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 pigmented you guys like I cannot tell you enough like I love this palette this is my like I thought you would be to top tear for eyeshadow palettes nah um beauty bay to top tier with the eyeshadow palettes so I'm just going in and just um sitting it down on my cut crease because I know I want to go in with the yellow shade and now we are going in with the yellow shade which once again like this camera is really not doing it. I'm gonna keep saying it in all my videos this camera is not doing it no justice because that yellow shade was top tier and it was super super pigmented not at all patchy just super super pigmented and I loved it all so much and you know what I was thinking too because once I ended the video I was like yo I should have just added like a, a in a corner highlight like I just I should have looked at that but it's okay we you you learn so next I'm going in with my water your girl was thirsty and she had to take a medicine so for primers I'm going in with my master primer and my sharpness a one skin primer I was gonna go with my black lace primer but the last time I did that in my last video my foundation just ended up being super super patchy but I'm still able to work with it so this right here yeah I really know my go my go to combo and I need to re up on my on both my primers because it's super super good and a lot of people was like that the the um Maybelline master primer was super super drying for like dry skin and so it's a shot with a but i'm using it and it's really not like so if you got dry skin and you afraid to use these two products i'm telling you now as a dry skin woman don't be afraid because these are not that dry and they don't worry about my foundation either they don't make my face feel dry or nothing so go ahead and use them so remember in my last video i told you about my little concoction that i was going to start doing and now i'm going to do them so i'm taking a super stay foundation and i'm mixing it with my elf cc cream my, my elf camel cc cream and i'm just going to bring it in and then you can see that this was my perfect shade right here like just look at it it was just, it was just still a tad bit too late but or, like it was or, like my favorite um it was my like perfect shade like it wasn't too light and it wasn't too dark it was right in the middle to where i needed so next i'm going in with my favorite contour stick my foundation stick i'm not gonna really keep saying it because i'm gonna keep saying it and like da 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 so yeah so i'm just taking a handful because like i said it was still kind of a tad bit too late but it was okay because it was like the second time that i've ever mixed it and yeah so this contour stick it's fire you guys like if you have like a cvs or a walmart not walmart or like a right in there you 
you look at look up this brand because they really do have some good products and this right here is one of the good products I'm talking about because mm, oof. so for my concealer I'm going in with my sharpness a concealer and I'm taking the shade of honey this time just so I can conceal the bags under my eyes you know the Chanel the Prada the Louis you know all those bags and you guys I love this concealer it's charming it because of the best concealers not the best but you know pretty good concealers for like a dollar fifty nine they are really good concealers I'm not gonna lie and you guys oh let me give you an update real quick let me know in the comments if y'all want to see me do vlogs because I want to start by like, doing vlogs. I just don't want to vlog about my blog, like my like bar where I live. I want to go and vlog other places like Manhattan, Queens, New Jersey, and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments if you want to see me do vlogs. So to blend this out, I'm taking my, of course, my Believe Beauty um, sponge just to blend it out. You guys, I need a new sponge. So if you let me send me two sponges, no stop. So um, what was, oh, I, I do want to start back vlogging, you know, do a little bit of everything on my channel. But I do also have a vlog channel. If you guys want to go subscribe, you can. It's gonna be listed down in the description box, you know, and also probably in the comments as well. So that way you guys know that that's what I'll be vlogging at. And I may actually um, do vlogs more over there and then keep the makeup and stuff like that over here. So, just let me know in the comment section if you want to see me do vlogs because I love vlogs. Like, I love doing vlogs. So, let me know. So, for my bronzer, I'm going in with my favorite all time bronzer, which is the not the burp bronzer. It's the Koki bronzer, and it's, it was a darkest bronzer that they had. So, I'm gonna laugh for the darkest bronzer they had. It's, it was a pretty good bronzer. So, and I'm taking this angled brush from this Amazon brand that I like also much. So, and one thing that I noticed, right, with these brands is that they make a couple of good products and then they go off the grid. I don't know why they do that, but they do. So, to deepen out the bronzer, just because I didn't think it would, it needed, just because it wasn't like giving what I was supposed to get for this day, I just took the dark brown shade from my Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palette and just used that as a bronzer. Yeah, right now I use that as a lip liner as well because I don't get too shit, but I needed it as a bronzer. So, for my setting powder, of course, going in with my favorite, or some favorite setting powder, which is the black green setting powder i cannot get it enough for the setting powder one thing i am going to do though is get a lighter shade just to help brighten up my other eyes but i'm not gonna lie like it looks pretty good for me yeah I know. and for my nose contour i'm taking the phaser roll eyeshadow palette and i'm taking a brown shade just to um set my nose contour and you guys i'm gonna lie my nose contour lately has been coming out perfect. Like it's been killer as a game, and I love it. And I always talked about getting my a lip, like my lip fillers, and I always talked about getting no surgery and stuff like that. I'm still thinking about getting it, but I don't know. You look, you guys let me know. So for my blushy blush, I'm going in with the believe I mean. Believe the Chewy's place I love, I love I should have probably been taking that red shade again, you already know me. And I'm going in and I'm brushing out my cheeks because why not? And you guys, like, you guys got me quick on blush, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just patting this so that way it can blend in a little bit more. So for my highlight, I went in with the Believe Beauty highlighter and I don't know why I didn't show it. Why did not show it? Like, I guess because y'all see it all so much. So I was just like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to show it this time. So I was just like, it is so pretty. Like, just look at that. So I did take my sponge again after I put it in. Look at Joshua. What's up, bro? Hey, brother. Like, and I was about to put some highlight on his face. Like, 
so um I took my sponge again and just put it like just you know cooled it down a little bit because it was a little too bright or not, or, well, not bright even so I'm taking this white light and I'm cleaning off my lips so I can do my lip combo which I honestly did off camera but I showed you what I used to not have my lips super super dry which was the Blistex I feel like it was Blistex for me any product will work for my lip that has like that minty like feeling towards it but Blistex for me has been like the best go to product for my lips because it keeps like and like I said before it keeps my lips from being super super dry so I did my lips off camera and I added some moles as well because I just needed to so this is the completed look make sure you guys like comment share subscribe comment down below if you want me, if you want me to do vlogs and let me know what other videos you want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys